Hey everybody and welcome back. My name is Brian B and this is Double B Marketing. We're going to be talking about Bob Proctor, 10 Rules for Success. Um, and if you don't know who Bob Proctor is, Bob Proctor, um, let's see if I have a picture of this one somewhere. Right? This is Bob Proctor right here. He's also the gentleman up here speaking. Um, he runs the Proctor Gallagher Institute. Well, he's the face of it. Uh, he has a partner who is Sandy Gallagher, who's the CEO. But Bob has studied with uh, Napoleon Hill, Earl Nightingale, and um, that's a lineage from Andrew Carnegie. He used to be the richest person in the world. And also, Bob has uh, he has books. He's helped create uh, Chickens for the Soul. And he's a world-renowned speaker and um, million and multi-millionaire and a uh, top pearl or most probably the godfather of um, personal development. So. What, uh, getting back to it, right, what's Bob Proctor's 10 rules for success? Let's dive into it. One, he said you need to find your purpose. So you need to find the goal, basically saying that you need to find the goal, what, whatever it is you want to do. You need to figure what it, whatever it is out. Then stop wasting time. He says once you figure out what it is, hey, go for it, right? Um, and uh, don't procrastinate. Go for what you, what you want because last time we checked, this isn't a dress rehearsal. Um, so you only have everyone's hourglasses running and every day it's a little bit less than it was the day before. Um, you want to dare to stand out, right? Don't be scared. He's saying, um, and that just basically, um, if it's something different, Hey, it's something different, right? If you, God wouldn't give it to you if you couldn't think about it. Um, the next thing he would say is never be afraid to fail, right? Failure is a part of the journey, right? So you need to include it, embrace it, understand it. Um, because that's part of it. Don't think you're going to uh, make a hundred shots and never miss, but you'll never uh, make any of the ones you don't take. So uh, conquer your limits, meaning don't be comfortable, right? He likes to say a lot of times you need to make a goal that'll scare you um, just because outside of your comfort zone is where the gold is. Um, next, he says number six is ask the experts, meaning don't be afraid to ask for help of people who are experts in that field. So if you want to play basketball, you definitely you want to learn from a professional basketball player. They know how to, they know what it takes to become a professional. Same thing in business. Um, then uh, understand what others think don't matter um, because other people don't have, they don't think the same way that you think, right? So if you want to be a basketball player and you go ask someone who specializes in being a ballerina, right? Their opinion doesn't really matter too much because they're not an expert basketball player. So you don't need to listen to them. It's nothing wrong that they might not like the sport, but it's nothing wrong with you liking it either. Some people like Mexican food. Some people don't. That doesn't make them bad. That just means they like other stuff. Um, harness the power of visualization. You have to basically, that means you have to see things before they they appear, they manifest in life. So you need to see the impossible, right, before you can have it in your hands. So get good at, at visualizing. Transcend your fears. What he means by that is um, everybody has fears. So you need to include your fear, right, uh, in your success, but don't let that stop you. So you can feel that emotion, right, but understand, hey, that emotion comes with everything that's just part of the game. And I need to go past that and, uh, you know, visualize what I really want to happen. Then last is you need to shift your paradigm. Paradigm means basically it's our behavior. It's the hab habitual ways that we think, our thought process, right? And no matter what, uh, whatever we do, right, uh, our paradigm is kind of like a default mechanism. We can try to uh, start something new, but until we make it a habit, um, we're going to always default to whatever it is. So let's say you're trying to make $100,000, right? You never made $100,000. You always make $50,000. Basically, um, until you change your thought process to make $100,000, no matter how hard you want it, right, uh, and go out, you'll do, you'll do the work for a little bit, and then you'll default to $50,000 unless you change the paradigm. And the awesome thing about that is – that's the 10 Bob Proctor's rules for success. But one of the bonuses that I'm going to give you in this video is this. Uh, if you click the link below, 
right? It'll take you to some other content that we have on Bob Proctor and, and just business in general. But also, if you click the link below, it's going to show you how you can get a Bob Proctor uh, training for free, right? It, it doesn't cost you anything. Um, you just got to click the link below and it'll send it to you and you can take advantage of it. And you, he'll teach you in depth how to do all those 10 things. So thanks for your time and enjoy your day.